Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, before I get into this video, let me guys show you. If you guys have watched other couple of videos, I'm, I'm, this pizza. Look at that. Does that look like a game to you guys? Does that look like a game? That's real pizza. BT True School Pizzeria. <laughs> I'm going hard with the pizza. That smells really good. But anyway, what I wanted to get into this video was uh, you guys know if you watch the channel. That I've done a lot of uh, I've done I've done three three interviews with Shannon Briggs, um, and I've got hell of a lot of other footage from him hitting the heavy bag to him hitting the speed bag to him eat, talking about eating hogfish, uh, whatever the case it may be. Talked to Shannon Briggs about a lot of things. I've got a lot of stuff with him on this channel that has gotten lots of views. Um, but about Shannon Briggs, he's actually now um, he's in England. He's in the UK. He's walking the streets of the UK because he is stalking or he's looking for David Hay and he's probably gonna talk his way into a David Hay fight. And um, well that's what that's what I try to do now. Um, I know I've I I shot videos with I shot interviews with him talking about wanting to fight David Hay. I've shot all kinds of clips with Shannon talk mentioning David Hay's name, but I don't think I've been a video about Shannon actually fighting David Hay. So here's my perspective on the fight. Um, David Hay is an older fighter. Shannon Briggs is an older fighter. They both have accomplished a lot in boxing. Neither one of them really has uh, a claim as far as being at the top in the top ten of the, of the heavyweight division. You know, Shannon hasn't beat nobody on this comeback. Really, his best win is against Rafael Zambrano Love, a career gatekeeper. Um, David Hay's best win, only win in this comeback, he's only had one fight, is against Mark Demore, an overmatched opponent. So, in my opinion. They need each other, and they can make a lot of money. They're both they're, they're, they're both looking for a big money fight at this point in their career, and they're looking they're looking elsewhere. But I think the answer for that to that the the, the, the the solution to that problem is them just fighting each other. Shannon Briggs has generated a lot of interest, a lot of people following him, a lot of fans that that, that like the guy. And I think you know in the UK with his very charismatic personality, he will in fact. Um, do good numbers out there. David Hay, a, a, a huge fighter in his own right. You know, we know what he's done out there in the UK as far as numbers go. He's a huge star uh, in the UK. So I think it's a good fight. And as far as business wise, it's make a good fight. Even stylistically, I think it's a good fight because Shannon. You know, people are gonna say what they want about Shannon Briggs. They're gonna make fun of him. They're gonna say what they want to say. But when you look at the facts, he's uh, the bigger man. He's bigger than Hay. Uh, got a slight reach advantage on Hay, um, and you know I would even venture to say that he's the more devastating puncher than Hay. We're talking we're talking about a guy that has the most knock first round knockouts in the history of heavyweight boxing. So when you take that into account, we know that Shannon Briggs, uh, regardless of his stamina problems, if in those inside of at least four rounds, you know he's a very dangerous fighter, and all it takes really is for Hay to get hit one time with the straight right hand. By Shannon Briggs and um, you know there we go you, you guys will be sitting here saying let's go champ let's go champ for real so I like the fight all around I think it's it would, it'd be great for boxing um, it would it, it, the plot would thicken in the heavyweight division we have guys like I mean we had the Klitschko Fury fight coming up you know Lucas Brown is, is also on the come up he's supposed to fight Fresno Kendo in the um, WBA tournament that's going on uh, Deontay Wilder will be going to Russia to fight Alexander Povetkin Louis Ortiz is still looking for a big opponent. You got guys like uh, Trevor Bryant, Jarrell Miller, guys like that are coming up right now um, in the heavyweight division. Um, Pula is fighting Chisora as well. With we um, I think I said Klitschko Fury rematch. Charles Martin is fighting Anthony Joshua um, in the UK as well. So there is the heavyweight division is back, and this would make it even better. Two guys with big names, big punching power. Um, Squaring off, I think just it'd be great. And I think whoever, if Shannon Briggs wins the fight, then I think that'd be great because nobody's gonna give him a chance to win. If they, they've already written him off, so if he beats David Hay, that's a great name to have on his resume, and um, it, it really extends uh, this comeback and can get him more big money fights. David Hay wins, and people are gonna expect David Hay to win, and uh, he gets the Shannon Briggs name on his resume, and uh, that opens up the floodgates for him to potentially make a mega fight with Anthony Joshua, maybe. Uh, a you know, whoever, whoever, whoever the case may be, but let me know what you guys think. Shannon Briggs is now in the UK patrolling the streets. In fact, I didn't read the quotes. Let me read you the guys' quotes from the article. I'm sitting here talking. He stated the following, actually. He said, 
I've come to take over, to meet the people, to get out there and shake hands, kiss babies, walk old ladies across the street. I'm looking for David Hay right now. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere looking for him. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for Fury. I'm looking for Anthony Joshua. I'm looking for everybody. I'm a butcher champ. I don't care what I eat. I don't care what I cut. I just want to get cutting. Anybody anybody in Britain, the big fights, I'm here for the big fights. I don't care about the little fights anymore. Whoever the British people want me to fight, the people in the UK, whoever they want me to fight, Fury, Joshua, hey, those are the big names. I'm here for the big boys. I bought a one-way ticket. I'm not leaving. I might just stay here for a couple years and knock people out. So I hope, I mean, for my own personal sake, I hope Shannon doesn't uh, move to the UK. I, I really enjoy seeing him at the gym and, and talking to him and uh, just, you know, talking boxing with him and, and interviewing him and stuff. Um, but hey, you know, do what you got to do. But let me, let me know what you guys think about Shannon Briggs potentially fighting David Hay. Do you like the fight? Do you not like the fight? Is it a waste of time? Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care guys.